the starting point for the exhibition was to really think about light and how light can be a very natural uh, element that surrounds us and is pretty much a neutral, I would say, power or force, which in some cases, some contexts can be weaponized or can be used to influence behavior. And so thinking about using only natural light and letting the natural light be free of any uh, focused intent um, was the starting point, really, of uh, the exhibition. And that opaque surface is made out of reflectors which have been used to illuminate areas by the New York City Police. So with the help of the, the team here at the New Museum, we were able to take these reflectors, melt them down, and eventually turn them into a spray which covers a metal surface. So this kind of whitish-gray, opaque material that one finds on the sculpture cloak is in fact this transformed metal reflector. So sisal fiber is uh, an agave uh, cactus, and the fiber is basically just taken out of, of that. So this material is really the raw material. It's kind of the a state which I kind of think as between uh, two forms. So it's kind of it's left its plant state and is now waiting to become another form. So I like that idea of materials that can be in flux that are changing. And so between these two projects, there is this question I think of materials which are in flux, transforming, changing. I invite the visitor to become more aware of their environment, the changing environment, just as the materials used in this exhibition have gone through transformation or are awaiting another state of being. And in the same time, it is a gesture speaking to the way in which something as simple or maybe banal or quote-unquote neutral as light can become politicized, weaponized, and can be become harmful 